Hey lovers, welcome back to Love for Things. I'm your host, Naomi. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a thing. Modeling 101, if you are a new model and you don't know where to start as a model and who or what type of modeling that you want to become or what type of modeling that you want to pursue. So most of the time you don't know what you are actually looking for. So you basically go online and take pictures and just take any kind of pictures because you're like, huh, it's modeling. But let me stop you there. Before you get there, I want to share with you guys a little bit of just the 10 type of modeling that you can actually focus on. The 10 main type. And those type actually have subtitle or subtypes. So don't be scared if this does not apply to you because it does. So the first one first, we are going to have fashion. Fashion models usually work for top designers such as Marc Jacob, Prada, Gucci. The requirement for this is if you are five, seven and high above. The requirement for this are you're incredibly tall and slender and mostly these models don't get a lot of good money for that work but if you want to actually become a high fashion and editorial model you have to book the campaigns those ones pay better so think about it two runway model Woohoo! who wants to be a runway model me, 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 me. these models are found on catwalk and are hired to showcase a designer's clothing so due to your precise size the designer's clothing, the runway models are often a certain height and size. If you are at least over 5'9", then that's the type of model that you are going to be. So pick. The third one is swimsuit or lingerie. What? So these models specialize in showing off either swimsuit or lingerie. This model is a type of model is usually someone a bit more voluptuous, curvy, and also models like this tend to model um, clothes like summer wear, sleep wear, um, beach wear, all of those lifestyle pictures. We have the fourth is commercial. Yes, commercial modeling. You can be a commercial modeling with personality, with personality. So, commercial models are not restricted by age, height, or size. Therefore, this modeling type is the most open to diverse and new talent. Commercial models advertise a wide range of products in campaigns, catalogs, TVs. So, if you are a person that is more, um, that has a lot of personality, this is something for you. Try it. The fifth type of modeling is fitness models. Yes! To be able to model for uh, Under Armour, Nike, all of those amazing top brands is amazing. So, what are the requirements for fitness models? Are these models tend to be the most fit, tone, athletic. This, of course, makes sense as these models tend to tax with wearing fitness attires. So fitness models all are also found in commercial that involves fitness stuff, uh, workout clothing, workout products. So workout or, or, or workout routines. The sixth is parts models. In order to be a part model, you have to have at least one good part of your body that shows that is pretty. For me, I have a lot of different parts. So, what are the requirements for you to actually become a part model? Part models specialize in modeling their hands, arms, feet, legs. A hand model can book a job involving jewelry, nails, whereas foot models can book a job with shoes company. So both can book a job involving nails and beauty care. 
as a whole clients look for a part model who has well proportioned body parts that fit standard shoes and this and that fits standard shoes and jewelry so in order to be a part model at least have pretty hands manicured hands pretty shoulders amazing back or pretty feet don't want to go down there my feet are awful seven fit model so who is a fit model a fit model is a model who works behind the scenes and helps fashion houses get the sizes and fit right before the garment is set off to be manufactured so fit models are a diverse group of people in terms of body shape body height all of that so there is a big market for fit model you can be a fit model because they need your size they need your shape they need you eight promotional model Ooh, i remember to be in a promotional model that was when i was uh in new york city just starting out as a model and i, rem I remember being a promotional model for the uh, nigar and they put us in this like silver suit thing so you don't even know it's us and we had to like stand outside in the cold weather cold new york city weather you do not want to do that but so who are the promotional models these type of models book jobs that help sell and promote a certain commodity so promotional models are often found at trade shows or live events or new york streets but if you are that type of person that requirement is be as lively as outgoing and also well spoken nine Ooh, we're about to go to the last one so last but not the least ninth the ninth type of modeling that you can become is glamour model yes glamour model is well beautiful yay because Glamour modeling is centered on appearances, including facial, beauty, and body shape. These models are usually curvier than editorial models and often book swimsuit, lingerie, photo shoots. So glamour models tend to pose more suggestively than typical editorial or commercial models. So if you have some curves and you want to show it, become a glamour model really pays well sometimes and now let's give it up for the last but not the least type of modeling we can do print model this is where people are very proud to show their print because they're in a magazine or on a campaign so what is a print model a print models are often found in magazine billboards campaigns booklets flyers Poster. So these models usually have clear skin, nice smile. Ooh, ooh. While some of these models are selling products, others are simply photographed based on the needs of the client. So, what type of model are you? Are you fit in that type of modeling? Because we need you. They need you. They need someone like you. Because we need the curvier model. The abstract looking type of model the one that has weird fingers the one that has amazing great hair great skin the one that is shy so if you're new to this thing called modeling i hope this video has given you guys a little bit of idea of what type of model you want to become so take this information and go with it go with god go with love bye